Good morning ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the fun bridge point tournament. This video contains 10 boards with imp scoring. You can get into mind of a bridge professional and teacher, Milan Matsura. Have fun. Hello everyone. Welcome to the first day fun bridge points tournament. Imp scoring. So let's focus on bidding the games and making the contracts. Of course, defense is very essential and you always try to beat opponent's contract over tricks and imps are not that important. But with 19 high card points on the first deal and five theoretical losers, we want to be in a game and we want to play our own contract. So, um, unfortunately, if I open two clubs, Arjun will expect a six card so I have to go one spade and well, since partner raised to two spades, which should be two tricks, that's a very easy hint. So one spade, two spades brings you two tricks. If you play natural three spades invitation, it should be three tricks and you can subtract them from your losers. So if I have five of them, but see that the spade king we can finesse the club king we can finesse and maybe one of the hard owners we can finesse as well so if pardon has a perfect hand like king of hearts and uh, one of the other owners um, definitely we have a chance to make a slam on this one but uh, i will not try because um, i cannot figure that out normally if i splinter i would ask partner if he has those two top owners in the other suits and not in diamonds but Arjun is not very good in it see that the king of space is not helpful at all but uh, the 10 9 actually in hearts might help us to uh, establish uh, an extra heart trick yet we are in uh, imps so we want to focus on uh, making and if the ace of diamonds is on side I might get a club entry later on so um, I can dump the hard loser yeah we can try to get the spade finesse first but I'm um, not like convinced this is uh, this is the good play I think it might be better just to play uh, the spades from top because now they might get a club rough Okay, that's actually good news, because now they don't have the communication for the club rough. And um, yeah, they gave me an entry and a discard, so all should be fine. Now we should just lose a heart and that's it. Unless spade split 4-1. Luckily not, at least not the wrong way. And now they split 3-2, so draw the last trump and um, yeah lose the heart although i can give it a try and if somebody would have six diamonds um, not the case well it is the case because they all both discarded one and king queen and hearts they might be squeezed but i doubt that this will happen in the real life um, people can make really serious errors if you just cash your winners uh, if you do the math then at some point the eight of diamonds might become a winner uh, but Arjun signaling the count uh, knows what you have and in these cases they don't make the mistakes sometimes um, if you lie a little bit uh, with your high card point ranges, uh, they might make a mistake uh, with the honors, uh, but usually not with the distribution. Okay, plus four imps. Oh, that's a big surprise. I guess some players went to five, tried for a slam and went down. It's definitely a possibility, but you see that couple of players made only nine tricks. So uh, that's why we actually get four imps for making let's say a lay down contract if you don't play hearts at all and you don't waste your club entry you should always get the diamond discard 
10 high card points, balanced for triple free. I'm not intervening unless partner bids something, and not the case. So we will be defending one no trump. Yeah, um, spades are on our left, so lead your longest and best suit might be still the case. But uh, we know that the suit splits minimum full four and the full card is behind. So it's all about the ten of spades. Who has it? So I will try to be aggressive here because I want to beat the contract and I will lead a diamond. Well, this feels fine. Because partner should have minimum full card in diamonds. But there was absolutely no necessity to overtake the diamond. So let's hope he has the jack and he just wanted to show me what's the situation. <laughs> um, okay, obviously I should have led the queen of diamonds because the king shows the strong lead. So next time if you don't want partner to overtake, which was of course totally ridiculous if he has four, Based on the switch, ace and two back, Parton has the four card. So he didn't need it to overtake our king. Not at all. Yeah, well, with Arjun you really have to stick to um, her rules. See, we could have cashed four diamond tricks plus two aces, that's six. Not that we probably won't beat the contract, but still, it's those six tricks and we had a chance to do something. Right now, I uh, can't do anything. I'll just win. He played low, so potentially he might have the king. Yeah, so the contract was down from tops. We have eight tricks. And... Yeah, this is quite a pity because vulnerable this is five m's difference, sometimes six if the ranges of uh, the average uh, would be a bit different. But you see, there was absolutely no reason, uh, even if I have like king queen jack. Uh, yeah, okay, I'm quite pissed here because this should not happen. Um, these are really quite silly mistakes. But what can we do besides try to really follow the rules with the leads? And if you don't have free top tricks like King Queen Jack or Ace King Jack or King Queen Ten, don't lead the king against no trumps. Ten high card points, semi-balanced, five card suit, so I want to bid, although we are vulnerable. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven losers. Um, I think we can do uh, even some fighting for the third level, but right now partner will have four spades most likely. So I'm not going um, to fight more, I just showed what I have. Okay, now, okay, partner has the ace, so low heart would be better. If partner doesn't switch, oh, that's an interesting switch. To play a trump, maybe he has four small or four face. Apparently, I lost, oh, wow. I can wait with the club, because I need to wait for the heart. So I have three more tricks. Um, does Parton have an entry? I could have won, play the heart and give Parton a rough. That might potentially be actually better play. And I think I will do it, because now Parton will play the club and I will give Parton two roughs. Uh, 
Um, yeah. I didn't think straight. I didn't realize Burnley is the fifth best. So my second mistake. Um, based on partner's play. I uh, gave away the hard trick. Potentially a spade trick. So. Um, second defensive error. Wow, look at that hand. We might make five clubs, right? So we lose a spade. I can rough couple of spades. Like two. Well, probably at the end we might go down one. Uh, unless we can establish the hard tricks. And I believe that we probably will be able to establish them. It's just the question if the third round you will play for the third king or third jack. So there's definitely option to make five clubs and we just gave away three spades. So uh, one heart, one club, one diamond and two roughs. Luckily I cannot beat two spades and it's super tough to get into a three club contract. I'm not even talking about five clubs. We didn't double them yet. See, I made the least amount of tricks. A lot of players beat it. So, yeah, the trump lead was good. If we try to shorten them enough, partner will probably make a spade trick. So, not taking the... Uh, we can even make six clubs. <laughs> That's nice. And I gave them two spades with an over trick. This is um, actually very sad. This This is bad bridge. This is really bad bridge, and it's kind of my fault with the defense, I guess. I should have think about that more deep, that partner has one hard, on, one hard only, uh, based on not switching back to hearts. And I knew about four spades, or we can guess he has four spades. So he must have eight cards in the minors. And based on which club he played, I should have guessed that. Yeah. Which which club did he return? This is actually very important, so... Okay, so... I led the 10. Partner one with the ace, and he returned the 4 or 5. Okay, wait, first he returned the spade, now he took the diamond ace, I cannot get the count in diamonds, and now he plays the lowest club. So we can win, and play the heart back, sorry, play the club back, not the heart, keep the heart, shorten the dummy. Can win this one and shorten the declare one more time. And now they're in troubles because partner can rough the king of hearts and play a trump, and I will make those heart tricks. Yep. Well, declared it well, but now if he plays a trump, he can draw, but yet the contract is down. So this was the way how to beat two spades. Yeah, yet again, a uh, big difference. See, six imps difference. That's very important. Two boards. Two defensive errors. I need to take a short break. Okay, I'm back. Hopefully ready for the rest of the hands. Ten high card points. Partner passed a diamond. Same for the right hand opponent. So whenever you have a shortness, 
you are obliged to reopen. Now the question is if we want to double them even in one diamond or if I just want to bid constructively in my own contract. But I think West uh, might have an 1820 hand or something like that. Uh, anyway, I have like a good takeout double because um, I have three cards in each suit. On a reopen situation you can be weaker, uh, not really need to have 12 13 high card points for the takeout double okay partner bits two hearts uh, yet he didn't overcall one heart so he's not strong enough there for a game with five card so if he has extra points he might have only a four card I actually really like here that the two diamond bit from north is kind of a stayman uh, with an opening hand so two diamonds would be asking for the full card major because there is a reason why north didn't make an initial action with let's say uh, 12 to 14 count and the main reason usually is that he has a doubleton in one of the majors so uh, he cannot take out double in the first round this should be kind of the case um, but then I liked to be this one a five card and then we know that North was not strong enough to overcall, therefore uh, we should not have a game. See, so this is 14 count, a super maximum, and it's not about hearts, this is about playing free no trumps. So I'm a little bit sad, yet uh, after a diamond lead, we might not have enough quick tricks because we might have only eight tricks in no trumps right now I can get a couple of roughs uh, two actually would be fine because I want to use the ace of hearts to draw two trumps from the opponents and um, I will try to get a spade rough as well from north so I can cross rough the hand Maybe if I get lucky, I can actually even win one more spade winner. So we know where the ace of spades is. And east play. High low. So right now I'm actually not sure. I think I even like prefer to use the ace of hearts to get a rough. So I will catch the king of clubs. Should probably do the uh, distribution analysis. Because West um, will have four spades. He had minimum four, but maybe even five diamonds. Yeah, nope. So it's 4-4. Four, four. So West had four diamonds, four spades, two clubs. Therefore he will have three hearts. I already made a contract and I have sure trump trick. So the spade, it's almost like a trump. So I can dump the club and now they are forced to play a heart. And if not, yeah, they over -roughed, but I can under -rough here. If I win high, I can play for a doubleton trump there. Nope. So I have to duck this one and try to finesse the queen of hearts now. Nope. They did well to rough high. Well done prevented me from that uh, if I start drawing the trumps actually after a diamond if I duck one round of hearts and then guess the clubs potentially might be possible to win 10 tri oh even 11 tricks wow okay 11 tricks I think it's really from from open cards kind of impossible 
so maybe it was playing a spade towards the 10 somehow at the beginning but I needed to draw the trumps anyway definitely I need to play the spade towards the 10 not to shorten myself so that's uh, one of the key things and then I might uh, discard one diamond rough two cross with a club yeah well uh, there might be a possibility so let's have a look so this is actually wow uh, I think that we can play the hand for the most amount of tricks but that would need the knowledge to know where is the jack of spades because right now I will be able to discard the diamond and that's super important Hmm, wait. I need the rough. So if I play three rounds of trumps, it's not helping much, right? How about if I play the queen of spades, discard the diamonds, it's not helping any uh, as well. So if I play two rounds, no, I have to lose two tricks. Wow. This is actually a very nice teaser uh, for the double dummy situation. How to make 11 tricks from open cards. Right now I can make 10. That's easy. So you just draw three rounds of trumps. So I think I shouldn't uh, rough. I will leave it to you guys to figure that out. How that's possible you might get a hint here so you can just pause uh, the video here and you can try to think how to make 11 tricks from open cards that's a very nice teaser anyway plus two it's good enough that we ended up uh, in a good contract but free no trumps um, possible to make because we lose only three diamond tricks since they split four four and a spade trick. Of course, you have to guess the double ten queen of clubs, which is not easy. And um, you probably need to guess the jack of spades as well. So, again, free no trumps from open cards. Yet, I would appreciate from partner to bit very differently. Not two hearts as points, but more like a shape and two diamonds to show like this kind of hand good opening uh, with full card and doubleton maximum doubleton in the other major okay so um 14 high card points semi balanced hand four tens so we've got a 10 poker plus three aces it's a great combination of middle cards with owners and partner opened yeah i don't think that this hand is strong enough for a slam and if it is not strong enough for a slam i actually prefer to show the major first it's not very likely that we have a hard fit partner will probably be the spade or not opponents are vulnerable and i have aces so let's double if partner has a full card he can pass Okay, so he doesn't have a four card. In spades, probably. Or it might be four small. With four spades with two honors, partner should pass my reopen double. So if partner has no vested values in spades, suddenly we might have a slam. Arjun with four diamonds and four clubs. Four, four, three, two. I think opens one club. So I think Barton has five diamonds or potentially four triple three. This will be very tough bet right now. He might as well have four hearts still. Five bit three spades. Yeah, I think I have two. Okay. 
Not happy about this, but now uh, it's confirmed that Barn has only three hearts. If I keep bidding and I bid four clubs, it's like a natural bid. Yeah. Very tough. Even three no trumps with only one stopper might be difficult. But still, it seemed to me it might be the best chance to make a game. Ace queen, two kings, like 16 count, and partner might take out double passes. Sorry, not. Uh, yeah, passes, two spades. And then on my reopen double, bits three hearts. I don't understand. I will understand the immediate double as a three card support. But now we have probably six diamonds, but two spades. That will be a slaughter. Vulnerable. Two spades. Um, okay, I don't want to even count. Let's uh, see the count first. Seven and an eight. Doesn't look like a split. There is a four missing and a six missing. So I think there will be four hearts with east, so I can finesse the jack. And I can. I need to get rid of three clubs. One I can discard on a spade, and two I might discard on diamonds. So now the question is, how do I play the diamonds? Mm. Six, two, three, two. Where might be the queen? West preempted vulnerable. And he doesn't have anything in hearts. He might have only secondary values in the minors, so I think he should have the Queen of Diamonds. He has a free card. Nope. Probably could guess it. I'm not sure. Yeah, well, this is a trick. If I play the tennis score, I don't have a communication, so... That was really a trick. Yeah. We knew about free diamonds. But um, based on the small cards, I could guess the diamond position because West already played two small diamonds so he guaranteed a free card and East played uh, the lower the lower one than the aid kind of guaranteed a doubleton so yeah next time obviously I'm not um, in shape today because normally I'm guessing these things See, hard discard and the game is over because the jack of hearts will drop. Wow. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's nine tricks from top, just from the top. And we might even get the eight of spades promotion. Not even a promotion, it's a natural trick. Uh, maybe not. If if we need to draw two rounds, it's not a natural trick. So we might get nine tricks. Four down. 200, 500, 800, 1100 in two spades. And we just play a ridiculous three no trump bid. And I get an imp. 
This is really a bad bridge. Look that we could make seven no trumps uh, if I guess the diamond queen. So Arjun overcalls vulnerable two spades with this hand. So I'm wondering what is the description of the preempt? And you guys know that the preempt with a six card on second level should be seven to eight losers because that works. Uh, this is not just uh, a definition which uh, is like theoretical. This works in practice because it's based on tricks. And this is nine losers, but nine losers on all top cards. Guess what? If they have two spades or if it is a good defense, East will have four honors and if he has four honors well we don't have anything so don't never do this especially non-vulnerable i'm underst i will understand if the if the vulnerabilities are the other way around but that's just a really bad overcall i would like to see the program and just do some adjustments here um with these overcalls because it must be really simple um, to give him these guidelines, but the issue is that the players, you um, and the programmers, and in general bridge players, don't have these kind of rules. So if the definition is a six card, five to ten high card points, um, yes, that fits the criteria. But <laughs> okay. 13 high card points. By the way, guys, if you want to know how to bid uh, with six card major, just uh, look at milanbridge.com and uh, I have the lesson. You will even find it for free on the main page, uh, Learn Bridge, a lesson about a week two and the definition what you should have. And that, that works, that really works. Okay, two clubs double, showing four spades, three clubs, three hearts. So I might get one defensive trick in spades, potentially two, because they might split four, three, three, three around the table. I will get the diamond ace, and if partner has one trick, I might get an entry and get a diamond rough. So that's my plan. Try to get the rough. I'll try to. Yeah, okay, so what partner had for those three clubs? Oh. <laughs> um, apparently, we all have the same plan. So, playing a trump. That was the key. The low club was not a good idea. Did the king drop somewhere? I don't know. Now he should over rough. No, he still has the jack. Ah really playing terribly I didn't notice the club signal but why didn't cover partner cover the 10 probably the nine of diamonds dropped in the first round I was not paying attention because um, I already had a plan and my plan didn't work here we go here comes the king So get a spade, I guess. Clubs are gone. That math I could have, uh, yeah, I could have done. But he had 10 tricks. I feel my defensive skills today are terrible. And I get three imps. Probably just for the bidding, not to push, not to double. 
they can make four spades but you can see that on trick two I lost the trick by playing the five of clubs yeah that's what I get and let's uh, check out uh, the match correct my mistake see so now it offers me to replay from trick number two where I made the mistake so I can replay it and I think the best here is to play a trump so I prevent them from getting a two club roughs Yeah, and actually partner raised three clubs, um, so I knew that he has three. So that was ridiculous, um, but anyway, it didn't matter to play the third round. Ah, nice. So now I can cash the king. And I can cash the spades. I'm beating the contract? Like really? That's crazy. He wrapped the diamond low. So just adjust the defense a little bit and two tricks. Two tricks difference. Of course Arjun made a mistake, but well, a trump lead. That was really important. Hmm. C plus eight instead of plus three. So another five imps swing, which I missed. Whew. Okay. Let's hope that the evening game on Into Bridge will be better. Uh, that's at least playing with human partners. If you don't have a partner, um, just join the partnership desk alone. Either there will be a partner for you or potentially you might play with Ben, um, which is a um, slightly mediocre robot, but at least plays really fast. And I think since you don't have any agreements with that robot, um, it's better. Now with Arjun we feel we have agreements, that we are signaling, but uh, it's not working. So sometimes it's better not to have signals at all. Because for example, this should show five hearts and four spades and invitational hand. But I saw the robot to do it with a 12 count and a f four four. Um, yeah, so how to evaluate these hands? So in the minors, in the short hands, I have ace and ace queen. That's possibly three quick tricks. But in general, I have five honor tricks. No length trick, because I cannot rough anything. But all my honors are helpful. So if Barton has five to seven, uh, sorry, uh, seven to eight high card points, that's two honors. And now listen how this th thought of theoretical losers can work. So if partner, if we know about five hearts and four clubs, that's a minimum semi-balanced hand. Semi-balanced hands has 10 theoretical losers, just based on the shape. Yeah, five, four, two, two, three cards um, in the long, uh, suits and two cards in the short suits. If you subtract partner's two honors, 10 minus two is eight losers in partner's hand. And I have five top honors, which should all cover the losers or potentially uh, with the queen of diamonds. So eight minus five is three. If we have three losers only and we can draw the trumps and establish spades, guess what? Uh, we have 10 tricks. So this is the way how you can do the math that I just like to accept the invitation here. This is how bridge works. Think tricks. This is not about high card points. So look at that. Barton has a semi-balanced hand, queen of hearts and the ace of spades. So that's those two honors. 
So two heart losers, one club is three, three diamonds is six, and two spades is eight. See, I guessed that hand perfectly. And besides those two honors, Barton has those two important jacks and the ten as well. So um, there's not much uh, we need to do besides drawing the trumps, because the spade lead um, looks like a singleton. It's a three. Yeah, okay. Oh no, it was a doubleton. So that good news, that might solve my problem if I can draw the trumps. So I, oh boy. So now I have to lose an extra hard trick. Yet, no problem. If, if I can get the diamond, I don't need to draw the last trump. So let's try to cash the spades. Okay, so they get the rough. Now I need to draw the last trump. I still have a chance to play the dial. Let's cash the ace um, because they don't know what North has. They just see this. And I can play the 10 of diamonds here. If it's covered with the jack, I play with the queen. I still have a chance that jack nine is on side. If I just play the diamond towards the queen, I don't have that chance. And another option is that West actually has the doubleton nine. So let's play the 10. And he jumped with the king. So problem solved. Three, it looks like diamond splits. So I can just lose a diamond. And that's it. Jack behind. See, but if I play the 10, duck it around the table, I can still finish the king second round. So, uh, well done. Bit and made vulnerable game. 8 opposite 16, really borderline game, but the trump splits badly, um, opponents guessed the space for me, and the diamond finesse was on. So, based on the luck thing, I think it's kind of equal. Plus nine, wow. See, so apparently people are not bidding this game. And those who bid, they might go down. So that's why it's almost a full gain of nine imps. Yeah, so constructively today I'm doing well, but the defense is terrible. And for defense, it's actually very hard to practice. Again, uh, we can look at this hand in the overcall position. Pardon is a passed hand. We have eight high card points only, um, but we have like eight theoretical losers. With clubs, we will be pushed to bid third level. So how to think about this, even with hearts. So how to think about this is if we have eight theoretical losers and part needs to cover us four. Not all of them, though. Uh, can partner cover with honors? So for example, if we have a hard fit, like a 9 card, partner can rough the spades and um, we might get rid of the club queen as well. So uh, there's definitely a bigger chance to make free clubs than those previous hands with a 6 card, where all the honors, 3, 2, 2 in the long suits, can be usually covered only with honors. So anyway, um, I'm not bidding. Because it might be more difficult if I don't bid to find the diamond fit. If I bid two clubs, this guy can just bid two diamonds. And they can just find it. Now, if I pass, West will probably bid a no trump. And East might just bid two spades uh, with a six cards or even pass. Oh, two clubs. Okay, so that's the Drury convention. 
and four spades. So it's my lead. And I will have a look first with the count. Want to know the count. Five. My previous mistakes were based on not watching the small cards. So let's not repeat those mistakes anymore. Five of clubs. What kind of card is that? We missed the three. So Parn can have two small, but that's not very likely. Because if Parn has two small, East would need to have four. And we know that East has five spades and four hearts. Minimum. He might have a five five hand. Therefore, Parner probably has four clubs. So in order to beat the contract, I need to get the diamond trough. Because if Parner doesn't have the ease of diamonds, we might get only one diamond trick. Well, maybe then he might have king queen in hearts. So let's cash, because I really don't want partner to play the club back, knowing the club queen is good. So now partner can just return the diamond for me, if necessary. Probably not, but yet opponents have to establish those hearts. Will they be able? Because if 10 is covered, ah, uh, okay. Does partner, does partner have like ace king in hearts? Oh, wow. So it was super important to cash those two clubs. Because if I don't do that and I just lead a diamond. Then the cleric can draw the trumps and on the diamond queen can discard a club. So very important to cash two clubs immediately and don't lead your singleton. So finally I made the right decision in the defense. See, who would have guessed that partner's tricks are ace-king in hearts and the diamond suit is actually the one we should not play at all before we cash two clubs. Yeah, I want I want to get like eight M's for this one. Uh, minus two. What? How can I get minus two? Apparently, people were beating it twice. In which world? I mean, if I lead a singleton, you just need to draw the trumps, dump the club, and establish the hearts. Just play a low heart towards the queen. Even play the hearts from top. How can that be? And 229 players played in a spade contract. That's uh, like the majority. And I beat it. How is that possible that no Arjun made and they even went two down? <laughs> That's a serious issue there, Arjun. I did well and I lose two imps. Sometimes the luck is like that. When you play a tournament and no matter what you do, it's just wrong for you. Okay, 11 count, partner opens. I don't feel my hand is strong enough for 2 over 1. Although, wow. Now this is not clubs. I think that this hand... Oh boy. Partner will have something like 15, 17 count. But, um... Spades or no trumps actually will be played from the wrong side. I would need partner to hold both red suits, which is possible because apparently he will have like 15, 17 count. 
but I think that four spades might be even better contract, especially if partner really has five four. The jack seems like an honor, so I will just bid four spades. I really want to declare from north to protect his king, potential ace queen. See, so that's definitely a good decision. We just lose a diamond, we lose a heart, and that's probably it's potentially it uh, if the spades break. Because I might not have the time to establish the hearts if space doesn't break free free. Okay, show me. Oh, they split free free, so now I have the time. Okay, I can try one more time, right? They might think that the clubs are not running. Ah, oh, he jumped with it. Okay. Anyway, 11 tricks. Uh, easy. And bid a game. If I bid three clubs, I'm wondering what North will do. Probably will bid three hearts. And we'll just uh, show, show them what to do. But I guess somebody will play in diamonds. Uh, still... Um, they might get a hard lead and then they collect 11 tricks from top. So, well, all depends. Because for West, he will not lead a diamond with 6 hearts, ace jack 10. Anything can happen tonight, obviously. Plus 6 sims. Only 23 players plays it played in spades. So, apparently... See, Arjun prefers me to bid three clubs, and we can just replay what happens. So there are two options. I can. Some people will bid two clubs. I don't know what to bid now. Because three spades would, would show a strong hand. So if I bid three diamonds, what do they lead? They lead a diamond. Are they able to cash them? Oh, well done. So bidding two clubs and then reach free no trumps is not the way. But how about now? Ah, now we get a hard lead. Even we show them that probably a diamond lead might be better. Okay, uh, one last try. If we bid a no trump and three no trumps after two clubs. I guess it should be the hard as well. Yeah, so apparently my plus six gain it's probably only based on people bidding two clubs and then playing no trumps from the other side and Arjun has the ace-king-6 on the lead. Okay, 11 count, 5 bad hearts, 3 top tricks, 3 quick tricks and a spade shortness. Yeah, if I pass it might come already in two or three spades and then it will be tough for me to bid so yet the suit is really bad we are non vulnerable I prefer to open I think and I will not bid a no trump to show two two diamonds so two diamonds is sorry two spades yeah well Yet anyway, Barton asked with the fourth suit and bid four spades. 
Anyways, um, we don't mind. So we lose a spade, we lose a heart, and we lose a diamond. I will not try to fish around here. Four and a two. So one of them can actually have a five card, and that might be really problematic. But it's very likely that they might be free free as well. Because we didn't bid diamonds at all. Okay, this looks good. Even if this is... No, this is not raft. And it's fine. So at the end, last board. Very easy bidding. I was afraid about spades. And yet, uh, they turn out to be trumps. But all is good. Because Spartan had enough. So there always needs to be a trust. I guess they will take it. Yeah. I had I had also like a chance to cash the ace of clubs first and then play the king of spades. If they play the diamonds like they did, um, then I could even dump the king of hearts. So definitely there was a chance to score 12 tricks. But this is not um, this is not match points. In match points, I will probably try. I think in match points, I might even duck the first trick, cash the ace, play the second round of diamonds, dump the heart, and then play on spades. That's probably what I will choose in match points. But in Ims, I really didn't want it them to uh, rough the diamonds, so. Yeah, at the end, plus two M's. See, quite a lot of players actually made tw 12 tricks, uh, which is understandable in if you unblock in time and they don't cash uh, the Ace of Hearts, well, which they didn't with the lead. So, sorry, I should have the time. Let's uh, look at the rankings. So, I made a mistake on... Uh, why do I have the boards? Like drop. So apparently this this is actually very interesting. I didn't see this. This might be a new feature, because my order of the boards was that the second row is board number one. But look, uh, this might be the order, um, like the general order of um, people who will get the same things. So on board number three, I made a mistake in two spades. It costed me six sims. Uh, then on board number two, um, well, I made the lead error. So now let's uh, test it one more time and replay if I lead the queen of diamonds, if we actually manage to beat it. Because queen might either promise the jack or a strong lead. Yeah. I don't want club. Okay, and partner played the spade. That's nice. So this way, actually, we cash our seven tricks from the beginning. Well done. And they might even, we might even get one more trick. Nope. Maybe. Okay, look at that. Look at that. Just a different lead and Arjun defends as an expert. So usually if you think that uh, Arjun is stupid, think twice because most of the time it's just your fault. Look at that. Uh, we can get 200, 8 imps difference, 6 imps there, 5 imps on the uh, other hand 
and that's already another 19. So those my three defensive errors actually uh, just collect this and I'm not even talking about the possible slam which we could make on um, here board number five where I won an imp um, but we can actually make 13 tricks in a slam so um, there was a tournament which could score a lot and yet the first three players share with 40 imps so look if I don't make those three let's say stupid mistakes kind of um, then I will be there in the top five with 38 39 maybe even 40 imps if I just uh, pulled into the slam I might even get 10 more imps than uh, the rest of the field so never give up how about the friends list Dominic and Jerome so those are the other two ambassadors Apparently this tournament uh, suits them and Johan here uh, plus 32 congrats Peter Peter did well plus 28 From our regulars Serdian beats me as well and Trond and it goes in a so uh, Thanks guys for watching have a nice weekend uh, enjoy the major tournament finals if you didn't play so you still have some time to qualify you need 56 percent at the end well i had to play seven tournaments because i had like three bad ones well actually four bad ones uh if i can just move myself a bit so you see the percentages and uh, i hope i see you in the finals and we will have uh, yet another great big tournament see you next week as well and on tuesday super live stream ciao